Welcome back guys to episode 7 of my FM2020 series. We're looking at Jackson Saunders today, striker, 16 year old Welsh player. Um, current ability of three and a half star and a potential of four to five star. As you can see, his stats are going up. Breakthrough prospect, uh, finishing 13, first touch 13, off the ball decent, teamwork decent, work rate decent. His decisions are 12, aggression uh, 11, and his strength is 12. He's six foot, so it looks like we've got a very good young player here. Um, he's played in the last couple of games. Um, getting a goal uh, and an assist with an average rating of 7.5 he likes to play more of a deep line forward but we do play with a pressing forward so hopefully we can get him to um, get used to that position and with the stats he's got at the moment it looks like he's not going to be far off being a, a good player when he gets to um, his peak um, so we'll see how we do um, Going back to our schedule, um, we played Brackley off camera, I think, I think it was, um, Notts County, and Boston. 4-2 loss against Brackley, just not other races whatsoever. Um, Notts County, we played our youth prospects, Jack Webb, Kane Noble, um, Saunders, Played, scored a goal. We beat him three-one. And Webb, Thompson, Murray, Kane, Noble, Saunders all played blinders. Well, not uh, if I say Kane out of that, they all played blinders. So against Boston, we played Jack Webb. We played Thompson in the back two. Noble and Murray played in the midfield, and Saunders played up front. So uh, Dudley got the goal. We beat Boston one nil. And then this uh, episode, we'll be playing South Albans in the FA Trophy, playing some of the youngsters again. So the team that beat Notts County should be playing in this game. Um, and then we'll play Kingsland after that. We've got Coventry in the FA Cup second round. So it should be. A very very good game so we we'll go to our max preview we are favorites to beat St Albans they're inconsistent we're on fair form now getting back into the forms uh, they got a player suspended and the player doubtful with injury there's not much of a um, report to say what their weaknesses strengths are but they should be a very good outfit to play against. Team selection, here we are, we've got our young players. Um, looks like Brad, Brad, Jackson, uh, Brad Jackson has fitness problems, so I am going to switch him with uh, Nwatala, and we'll probably put him on the bench instead of Scott Burton. So where's Jackson gone now? There we are. Just to give him some like time off the bench if needs. Um, recommended maximum of 75 minutes. He'll probably get half an hour if he comes on. Um, this is a team that beat Notts County. Um, apart from Watala and Hughes. So we'll get into this game now. Watala gets the armband it looks like. And we'll see how we do in this game. Hopefully we'll get through to the next round. Our minute expectations is to get to the second round of this. Um, the qualifying round is the third one. Then we got first round and second round. So we're looking at getting through two more opponents. They're playing a 4-4-2. Um, I'm going to say go out there and enjoy themselves. Even though it's not really encouraging them. It's just literally saying go out there and enjoy yourselves. 
Uh, Passionate-wise, we're going to say we have faith in you, make a difference. Everyone's people are getting more confidence, looking happy. Some people just aren't getting anywhere, but at least they're listening. Hopefully, over the season period, we'll get the team talks will be perfect. Everyone will be motivated. Everyone will want to get in there and do their best. So hopefully Thompson, Webb, Murray and Noble can, and Saunders can keep their uh, front of form going. And after beating Notts County, who are in the league above us, um, we should be able to win this. And unfortunately we've got 1-0 down in the 15th minute to Samuel Fanian. Should be doing a lot better there. They've had most of the opportunities here, so it looks like the players are kind of not at the races. Which is something I keep saying recently. But um, two shots on goal, one on target. We really do need to um, get more shots. Uh, looks, we've just okay. We're on the attack. Murray, Watala. Oh, Saunders almost got there. Got a corner. No ball back to Morgan and unfortunately the keeper saved and tipped it over the bar. We've got another corner attempt and Noble's lost the ball to Shulton. Okay, so Hughes, we're on the attack again. And Watana's coming inside and oh, he just can't finish. Taylor with the cross, Murray, no, Webb's got the ball, and knocks it forward but gives it away. Okay, so we've had nine shots now, we're starting to get back into the game. Dressing room, performance was disappointing, yeah, I believe so myself, I'm going to say, uh, show me something else in the second half. Um, I'm also going to be passionate and say I believe you have faith in you there we go a little bit more in terms of thing analysis wise it's just mainly in the middle of the park as we can see with possession wise we're attacking down the left hand side um, Matty Hughes isn't doing very well he will be coming off Ray's is doing quite well and I'm not going to change the goalkeeper anyway, he needs the, he has the cup games for a reason but Matty Hughes is going to come off I'm going to put Jackson on for some minutes that he needs, I'm also going to take Noble off because he's not really been doing a lot um, and we'll put Roberts in there just for a little bit of experience start the second half and see if we can get a goal back I'd be supremely disappointed if we don't get um, back into this game. We do have the quality to do this and win the game. Okay, it's 10 shots, 5 on target. They're on the attack again. And unfortunately for us, their player that was playing really badly has picked up his game and... Fanny Ann's now become a sister to the goal. So we're now 2 0 down against Sir Albans. Just checking the offside, but he's definitely onside. And a lovely header pass to our keeper. We've now got a corner on the attack, and we've got a goal. Saunders with his second goal of the season. Jackson with the cross. Uh, Morgan with a flick on, and Saunders at the back post. That was a lovely, well drilled uh, corner hopefully that getting us back in the game we've got another 20 minutes to get another goal back in come on lads I know you can do it just create another attack somewhere I'm going to freshen the legs up at the back, take Joel Taylor off, 
Oh no, I can't. There's no one in for the back. That's not helpful. Um. Okay, so we've got a goalkeeper, a striker, and a striker. Oh, I'll just cancel that. Okay. So we'll see how we do. Nine, eight minutes left to get a goal win. Come on, guys. I'm going to do a team instruction, I think. Oh no. Cancel that figure. Push forward. Just in the last couple of minutes. Don't think we'll do it now. No. So Albans beat us. Unfortunately we couldn't get back into the game. Um performance was disappointing and be aggressive for this. Far from pleased with the result. Knocked out of the FA Cup trophy in the third qualifying round. Okay, so we're away at Kings Lynn today. They're six to four um, favourites. We're in third position against tenth. They're inconsistent. We're in fair form. Uh, they've got a player out with a torn pectoral. Their biggest strength is their crossing, and their potential weakness is their heading. So we have Lively in the back. With his head and ability to exploit us. Um, we are three points behind Kinnerminster. A point behind Darlington. If we can win this game. We can go up to top. If Kinnerminster and Darlington lose. If not. We've got a chance of staying in this third position. And getting a good um, way of working back up the table. Um Team selection is Russ Griffiths, Kevin Roberts, Lively, McEvely, Waters, Gilboy, Glendon, Watala, Dudley, Johnson and Asante. On the bench, Reynes, Taylor, Jackson and I'm going to put um, Saunders on the bench due to the fact that he scored in the last game. I believe... Actually, I'm going to put Saunders up front and put Santa on the bench just to say we give him a fa um a try and I'm also gonna put Thompson in instead of McKeevely just to get him linking up with Livesley a little bit more so we can get youth players in. Um I believe we'll be alright with that. I don't think there's anyone else worth I probably might put Jack Webb on the bench instead of McKeevely. Just because I'm fed up by bringing McKeevely on and him not doing the job that he's meant to be doing. Uh, Brad Johnson still needs some fitness. 75 minutes, so I'll bring him on off the bench. And we'll submit his team to play against Kings Lynn. We, sh if <sighs> we should be favourites for these games. We're higher up in the table. It's just our form is slowly declining. The tactic hasn't changed. Um... For the second half, I might put Saunders as a deep line forward, just so our um, inside forwards can start um, coming in. Uh, passionate wise, I'm gonna say, um, just go out there and impress me. There's no one actually exactly motivated from this. Um, I'm probably going to go assertive on this one and say there's literally no pressure just deal with it we've got one relaxed with Saunders which I'm I'm kind of glad he's no pressure on him um, hopefully we can get something out of this game we're going to go top if we win because uh, we, we're playing an extra game than everyone else we're 1-0 down already which is not great. Uh, Niakate with the cross and power with the header past our keeper. I don't understand why Waters just can't jump and beat him. Waters is not playing particularly well. Um, 
We're still having more shots, but we just can't convert these shots. So I may change it to work the ball into the box a little bit more to try and say get in that penalty area and just shoot. Okay, so we keep losing the ball. Glendon sends it out. Saunders on the ball gets it. Johnson and we're one all. Lovely play by Saunders and Johnson there. Saunders winning that ball. Technically taking the player out. <laughs> but there's no foul going to the ref. And Johnson squeezes the ball past the keeper to his near post. We'll see the analysis at half time. Um, and we're 2 1 down already. It's just. Ah! It's just getting quite annoying though. Lovely header. Clunan sends in a perfect um, cross free kick. Saunders, Watala, Dudley with the ball, crosses it in. Spatwala, Glendon, it keeps going back. Roberts cross. Dudley gets the ball again, sends it in, and Johnson just can't put it in the back of the net for his second of the game. It looks like our wing backs are going to be mainly um, changed in the second half. They're just not playing particularly well. Average ratings going down. And I'm going to change the tactics around a little bit out of time as well because we just don't seem to be getting the shots off like we should be doing. Um, I'm gonna be aggressive. No, we're not even good. Just, just, right, assertive. Um, we deserve to win this match again. Nope, not interested whatsoever. I really need to change my tactical approach to say this was disappointing, but right. I'm not happy with your performance tonight. There we go, that's more like it. Okay. Tactics wise, um, we've got to work the ball into the box. Play for set pieces because we're pretty good with set pieces. Um, I think we're okay with that. I want to use tight marking and Mars want to stay on the feet. And I want to use an offside trap. See if that'll work for us. Um, back to this. Uh, Roberts, I'm going to take off. If I can. Right, Waters is definitely coming off. He's just not been playing very well. Dudley, I'm going to give Jackson some minutes. Um. Can Thompson play in that position? No. Can Lively play in that position? No. Right. I'm going to give Roberts the benefit of the doubt. Um, and I'm probably going to put Jack Webb on for Thompson. Just for a little bit more um, stability in the back four. Right, let's see how we do in this half. 3-1 down. The form just seems to go out the window completely. Smith with a header past our keeper. Okay. Taylor Saunders. That's Taylor. Taylor goes in for a drive. Doesn't get anywhere near. I'm going to have to sort something out with my tactics soon. Because at the moment, we've gone on a good run and gone on to a bad run. So we really need to sort out where we're going wrong.
Mortal goes for a while and just can't finish. But it looks like we got a corner from that. Brendan can't get his crossing. Got a few tired legs out there now, but I've got no subs. And my targets are Johnson. And Johnson just, just, they just don't, can't finish today. A 3 1 loss. Just very disappointing. I'm far from pleased what I saw. Aggressive, not happy with your performance tonight at all, and they're still. Ugh, forget it. I just. No. Alright, we'll look at the schedule next. We've played a game, Kinemissa and Downton have got a game in hand. We're probably going to end up five to four points away again. Southport is probably going to catch up to us. Same with Leamington. Um, schedule wise, let's have a look. So we went on a really good run of wins, draws, unbeaten till September. October then became times of losses. Next game. Let's have a look who we've got. So we've got some teams in the bottom half of the table. I'm probably going to do three games off camera, come back for Blythe, uh, play Blythe from Gateshead, but two bottom teams away from home. Hopefully, turn our form around um, in the next four Van der Ramen off games. And yeah. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.